Today I'm going to talk about sinking in point shoes and how bad it is for you. When you have a shoe that is too wide or too square for your foot, your foot will sink into the shoe and basically cause a variety of problems, including bruised toenails, even having toenails fall off. And in general, the shoe won't be supporting you how it should be. When a point shoe is fitted, it should firmly cup the foot so that you feel like a snug kind of fit and that you're fully supported whilst on point. You don't want to feel as though your foot is sliding down the shoe and hitting the bottom of the platform. Um, sometimes when you get fitted, it's hard to tell if you're sinking or not. So really pay attention to how you feel when you're going onto point and how your foot is feeling in the shoe. Um, I was ill fitted with this pair, which was one of my first pairs, because the shoe is too square for my foot and also it's too wide. I have a very narrow foot and I was fitted with too wide a shoe, which caused my big toenails to bruise and fall off. Not pleasant. You can also end up sinking in your shoe if the shoe is dying and the box has gone to mush, no longer supporting your foot, which is not a wise shoe to dance on. Um, so just be aware of how your feet are feeling with your shoes, because remember, shoes don't last forever. It depends on how much point work you're doing. Um, if you're a professional dancer, then obviously you're going to go through shoes quickly. But also just bear in mind how your foot is feeling in the shoe when you're being fitted for shoes, because it's all too easy to end up with the wrong shoe and then regret it a few days or weeks down the line. I'm going to show you the difference between a good supportive shoe, which has been correctly fitted, to a shoe that is far too wide. In this case, I'm going to show you this shoe, which is far too wide for me and also too square, compared to my current point shoe, which is properly fitted and supports me where it should and does not cause any sinking. So I'm going to go and show you now. First of all, I just want to show you my feet. I have quite narrow feet, as you can see, and tapered toes. So really, I should not be fitted in square shoes at all. And in a second, I will show you the difference between a too wide, too square shoe compared to a shoe that fits correctly. I just wanted to show how, when you have a shoe that is too wide, how easy it goes on the foot and how it shouldn't go on so easily. Sorry about the wobbly cam, but I'm trying to hold the camera as I do this. So here's the too wide a shoe. Okay. Look how easy this goes on my foot, like a slipper. A point you shouldn't do that. You should feel as though around here, it's a nice snug fit. So down the sides of the shoe, it should feel as though it's nice and snug on your foot. If you look here, not only can I fit just one finger in, I can fit like even three fingers down the shoe, which is a sure sign that the shoe is far too wide for me. And down the sides as well, look at, look at the gap, really too wide. Now you can see on the left foot I have my correctly fitted shoe and on the right is the shoe that is far too wide, too square for me. Now if you notice, you can probably already tell that this shoe is far too wide, this one fits nice and snug to my foot and is generally a much better fit and now I will show you them on point. Now I can't show you the sh both shoes on point because that would be too dangerous because this shoe, the too wide one, is actually far too unstable for me to go on point in. So I'm just going to place it on point so you can see the difference. So this shoe is the one that's far too wide and causing me to sink. Now when, if you, when you're trying on point shoes, once you try them on and you step onto point in each shoe, you will instantly feel if you're sinking because the feeling is like sink. You're, you will feel your big toe hit the platform and you won't feel that the shoe is supporting the sides of your foot, causing you to sink. Now if you look, can you see how I'm sinking in the shoe? You can almost see 
how my foot is going straight down to the box. No support whatsoever. And the shoe's generally too wide and far too square. Now in the supported shoe, which fits correctly, can you see how much better fitted that is? It's cupping the sides of my foot. I'm not sinking in the shoe. My whole foot is supported and it's a lot safer. Just to compare again, sinking, not supported at all, far too square and wide, nice, supported, much better. I also wanted to mention that different brands of shoes and different styles of shoes suit everyone, you know, differently. So what one per person or dancer might say to you is the perfect shoe will be okay, perfect for them, but not for you. So always remember to try on many different brands and styles and see what works best for you. And maybe you even need a custom shoe. I personally wear Grishkos because I get them custom made and I feel they work best for me. But that doesn't mean that I'm biased, you know. There are many different shoes out there and they all work differently for different dancers. So be sure to try on everything you possibly can. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. I will be making more videos and also taking requests. So please, if you have any questions or issues that I might be able to help with, please drop me an email or write in the comment box. Thanks.